Newton. And there we right. go. This is the this is a massive crash, and this is Alan McNeish and the Audi 3. Look at that. Wow. It's absolutely. I mean, it's a complete right. wreck. Well, we're in now, there. That is an Audi we're in, and they just see Alan sort of goes around the outside. It's actually a left hand around. Popatrzmy. Jak on to zrobił? Na prostej, po prostu na prostej, zresztą jako drugi samochód nie zapanował nad samo, nad, e, jako drugi kierowca nie zapanował. A więc ależ teraz odpowiedzialność spoczywa na Sebastianie Błemi, aby doprowadzić do do mety. Mit dem vielleicht eines guten Tages mal so viel Platz im Auto zu haben, dass man daneben zukunftsfähige Systeme, so wird das ausgedrückt, also will heißen, eine Hybridanlage, einen Hybridkomponenten unterbringen zu können. Die Nachteile, die man sich damit eingehandelt hat, ist klar. Nochmal die Wiederholung des Unfalls von Mike Rockenfeller. Der reinste Horror. 320 km/h und dann solch ein Einschlag. But for a position is Nico Kari. I'll right. explain why in a moment. Now, this is Tevita. It was the Verth corner. I was right. He goes through the gravel. He's back on the track. And Peter Lee is just unsighted. Straight into the back. Corkscrews in the air. PK very nearly goes over as well as he had a car knocked into his path. That is a monster. That's a huge, huge coming together, isn't it? And as you say, it was dust, wasn't it? Hurja vauhtinen ulosajo. Monta kertaa auto katon kautta ympäri. Ja Hirvosen kisa päättyy tähän. Tämä on Hirvosen uran pahin ja vaarallisimman näköinen onnettomuus. Henerizzi hätte ihn sehen müssen, war eigentlich ein korrekter Überholversuch, aber Henerizzi hielt da nochmal dagegen, wollte unbedingt zum Scheitelpunkt der Kurve und dann... Up to Carlo to go, Backmarker's looming as well, Dryden's got to not only look at his mirrors until the second, and off, there's an off there! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, that's Jordan Gronkowski in 22! Way out of the racetrack goes to 32, catches the six, and around goes Justin Lofton. Hits the 13 of Johnny Sauter. They crash right at the start finish line, and they catch the 32 of Miguel Faludo. Wow. That was You're a right huge much. crash. Will not be moved in time. Eduardo Fraser have no option. Menu. Oh, and that's Montero facing the wrong way. Well, they could be saved at one. Somebody else has gone in another ladder and another one. Okay, traffic jam. Red flag. Red flag. It's going to have to be stopped. 
Use a good traction, as you see there. Oh! Jordan, side by side contact. No, no he's into the wall. Collard, Collard involved in jump. But uh, today, a little bit more lively. But what a great sight. It's really good to see a good field of Cleo's back. Oh, oh no, that's Luke Wright. As he's going back right, across yeah. him to just go. Oh, goes the other way. Jake Giddings, Giddings. Giddings. That's a big that, hit. That's going to be safety car, surely. That's going to be a bad. Oh, no, unless he's one of the... Oh, that's Mike Bushell. Mike Bushell, well, Nick Mike Hamilton's Bushell. involved. Into the picture. Pushed by Casey Mears. Kenseth with oh, Harvard behind him. That is an excellent getaway for the BMW driver, and he's putting Matt Neal under pressure just to clip on. Oh, and Oscar in the background. Cars off in big time through the hall then to Plato. It's Plato up and over goes Jason Plato. Rolling, rolling here on the first lap at Donington, and the reigning champion is out. Oh, there goes the Audi just on his left. He had Liam Griffin and the Audi on his left, and now he's a passenger. Oh, just into that bank. I've never seen a car go off there before, ever. Nor me. I mean, that is uh, the first one for me to see a car go off like that and hit, uh, hit the grass. So uh, it's just bunching on, the, on, on that part of the course. And, oh, look, poor old JC just can see it coming, but he probably doesn't expect the car to roll over like that. Griffin's got his bonnet up. He can't see anything. Exactly happened here. Well, a little nudge from the Opa of Laurent Aiello. And there you see it all goes wrong. It started with the nudge. And Schneider into the barrier. Yaroslav Kenny in third place at the moment. Oops. Huge. Johansson. That was Bargwana. That was Bargwana. Had a huge moment. It's rolled. Oh, it's a Bundy car. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. One of the Bundaberg Red Races has gone over. This battle, then, because it's all happening at the front. Oh, and that's not right at all. Oh, that's not right at all. Shava Walter is slammed into the wall by Christopher Meek. Tidy into the first turn, stocking as Captain leads. Oh, no, and a big spin and over the top. Right on board now with the Genza of Viso U. And he's going to see the accident unfold ahead. There's Powell, Brundle, three into two. A little bump from Powell over the curb. That's okay, but uh, yeah, and then Buller ends up upside down. Carlin Boy's trying to figure out what happened there as well. Yeah, it was a nasty moment. Oh, it looks like something went wrong there. Uh, Kevin Riley has spun the Mosler. Maybe he's hit. Oh, and that's carnage there. Flames everywhere. Something like that. Accelerating out. Maybe even faster. Oh. And we're so lucky that nobody got hurt. The Toyota lights ablaze. Make sure the slower cars see them. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Mercedes has taken off. That's Peter Dumbreck at the wheel of the number five Mercedes. The car flew right up in the air, over the barriers, oh. over the wire, and into the trees. Let's look at this again. This is an awful accident. An awful accident. He moves out of the slipstream of the Toyota, and the car just takes off. That looks horrifically like a replay of what happened to Mark Webber, who I hasten to add, was, but that's a big impact. Yeah, and this is market caught these cars. You see Bobby Labonte. Looks like just loses it, gets loose with that car right up in, uh, behind him there. But Mark had been there for a while, and you can see Mark spinning now. Not much you can do except hold on and lock the brakes as a driver at this point in time. And right there. Oh. Yeah, I was lucky the crew members weren't injured there as well. I'm telling you, that was just a crazy accident. Mark's trying to keep it off the wall right here and keep it a little damaged as he possibly can, but just can't get it back out. Wow, you can see all the oil going yeah, out from instantly it ruptured that oil tank. That could have been a big, big problem if it had caught fire immediately. Man, safety crews were right on the spot, though. And Martin had caught this 47 and 42 
uh, and been, been behind them for about 10 laps, but couldn't get around them because they the 47 and 42 had a little fresher tires, but you can see the fire underneath, but the fire crew was right there on top.